Boston coach Brad Stevens knows what is wrong with the Celtics. Plenty. Trey Burke scored 29 points, Tim Hardaway Jr. Had 21 and the New York Knicks snapped a six-game losing streak with a 117-109 victory over the surprisingly inconsistent Celtics on Wednesday night, Thursday, Manila time. Noah Vonley had 16 points and Eanes Cantor finished with 10 points and 10 rebounds for New York, which won for the fifth time in 19 games. This is a lot of things, Boston coach Brad Stevens said. We have a myriad of issues we have to fix. Kiri Irving led the Celtics with 22 points and 13 assists, Marcus Morris had 21 points, and Al Horford and Gordon Hayward each added 19 points. It was a season-high third straight loss for Boston, which slipped to 9-9. Pegged as one of the Eastern Conference's favorites, after they lost in the conference finals last season, the Celtics currently look like a team that has lost its cohesiveness. The Celtics have a healthy Irving and Hayward who were injured and missed the playoffs, but they look nothing like last season's team. We are not playing with the same personality that we did last year, and that's the easy way to describe it and the 50,000 issues are below that," Stevens said. I just don't know that we're that good. Maybe it's not a wake-up call if you keep getting beat. Boston cut its deficit to 110-106 on a three-pointer by Hayward, but Burke hit a jumper with 50 seconds to play. Burke added a three-pointer to make its 115-109 with 12 seconds left. Mitchell Robinson's basket with just under five minutes to play pushed New York ahead 10387 and sent a good number of fans to the exits, and some voiced their displeasure before leaving by booing. In order to be considered a special team, you have to earn it, Irving said. Hardaway felt the Knicks have something to build on. We're 514. We've still got a lot of learning to do, he said. We'll go and look at film on Friday. But everybody should go home with a smile on their face and eat good tomorrow, you know, because we gotta win. Dot leading by 16 at the half, the Knicks had their lead cut to 10 four times in the third quarter, but Boston was unable to reduce it to single digits. Effort. They stuck with it. Young fellas on a back-to-back, -back, in a hostile environment, Knicks coach David Fisdale said. Just played extremely hard and played through a lot of adversity. Thank goodness that clock ran out. Dot the Celtics started hearing boos from the home crowd midway through the second quarter and the boos became louder when they fell behind by 20 points, 46-26. Tomorrow might be a good day for us to reflect a little bit, Hayward said. NEW York built its lead to 57-31 on Cantor's reverse layup before heading to the locker room with a 65-49 edge at halftime. Tip-ins. Knicks, Fisdale started Emmanuel Mudley and Hardaway in the backcourt, saying, they're starting to play with some good chemistry. I'm happy with the pace. They shot 65%, 15 of 23, in the second quarter. Celtics, Horford started after he was listed as probable because of a sore left knee. He went to the locker room briefly in the second quarter. Boston missed its initial 10 three-point attempts and 14 of its first 15. Staying the same. Fisdale decided to use the same starting lineup as Tuesday night because his team got off to a good start despite a loss to Portland at Madison Square Garden. New York got off to a quick start again Wednesday, opening a 25 14 lead late in the opening quarter. Gotta go. Stevens was asked about the play of two of his players before the game and turned it into how his team needs to improve and play more consistently. It's not about what you do on one day right now, said. It's about how can you piece things together and go and go and go and go. As a team, that's what we're all searching for.